Another new month, another slew of Nintendo Switch games coming. And what would you get? There are a ton of releases on both eShop and retail. And today, like we do every month, we want to help you out and tell you about the big games coming to Switch for the month of May. What should you pick up? There's some good variety in this one. There's some good smaller indie stuff. There is a bunch of retail stuff to pick up this time. And third party is really here and it seems like it's stronger than ever. I'm excited for a lot of these, so let's go ahead and get into the list. But before we do that, let me remind you, please hit the thumbs up. That really helps us out more than you know. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. We make these list videos every month, letting you know what's coming to Nintendo Switch and what you should be on the lookout for. And uh, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the games. Okay, so these are in order of release, and we are starting off with a super weird but super fun choice for you. For $12.99, coming May 2nd, we have Duck Game. This is one of my favorite multiplayer games that I've been playing on Steam lately with some friends. You get to play online. I'm really happy that this works. Battle with up to four ducks in online play, local couch combat, or wireless. Learn to destroy in single player challenge, countless weapons and levels, and including some new levels coming first to Nintendo Switch. That's always awesome when we see some nice exclusive first content on Switch. Create and share your own levels. You want to maybe get ready for some super Super Mario Maker level creation. You can create your own wacky levels here. The only competitive game on Nintendo Switch with quacking. It is a really, really good time. If you've played games like Towerfall, this really fits the mold. It's a very small download. You can play up to four players, even online. It's super, super awesome. I've played countless of hours of this on Steam, and I'm glad it's finally coming to Switch. I've been saying that this game needs to be on Switch for the longest time, and I'm glad that it is finally happening. Next up, we have a game that I've been excited for for a very long time. Shakedown Hawaii coming May 7th for $19.99 to Nintendo Switch. I've actually already gotten a chance to play this game a little bit, and it is really, really fun. Think Grand Theft Auto, but with the graphics you are seeing on the screen here, and way more cartoony and arcadey with a super hilarious story to boot. I played the opening hour of it. I think it is really, really fun. If you are a fan of Retro City Rampage, you know that this is kind of a spiritual successor to that game game it's finally coming out for nintendo switch we've known that it was coming for a couple of years it follows three protagonists through a 16-bit open world build your own legitimate quote-unquote corporation by completing missions acquiring in businesses sabotaging competitors rezoning land and shaking down shops for protection money it's super fun and again if you like grand theft auto a lot and you don't mind this art style it is a perfect mix of both of those things and it's super super fun the wackiness of the month continues with Saints Row the third full package coming to Nintendo Switch for $40. If you pre-order right now though, you can get a little bit of discount and pick it up for $35.99. This is, as you can tell, the full package. Put the wildest chapter of the Saints Row saga in the palm of your hands for the first time on Nintendo Switch. You bring the fight to Steelport, a sordid city of sin, drowning in sex, drugs, and a lot of guns. This is your city. These are your rules. You are able to play co-op next to each other even though there's been a little bit of contention there because you need two switch consoles and two copies of the game you can also play solo you can play online it includes all three mission packs and more than 30 dlc items all previously released content is included in the game cartridge so no extra downloads there are two dlc packs that were like omitted because of game balance and improvement according to them but hey this is the full version of saints row the third my favorite saints row game they definitely kind of lost their way a little bit after this they went a little too crazy for my taste but the game is out on may 10th for 40 dollars you can pick it up and have a really good time with this i'm going to convince zach to play this co-op with me because it is a hell of a time it is one of the craziest gaming experiences you've ever had and uh it, i mentioned grand theft auto earlier this is like a super wacky version of grand theft auto like if grand theft auto was made by like 13 year olds that think fart jokes are funny that's what saints row is to me Next up, we have another solid third-party offering with Sniper Elite V2 Remastered for $40 retail. It seems to be $35 on eShop, and if you pre-order, you can get it for $31.49. So if you're interested in this one, definitely go pre-order now for some bit of a discount there. But it's coming May 14th, 
and you get to experience the remaster of the award-winning third-person shooter Sniper Elite V2. Trapped between two desperate armies in a race against time, stealth is key. Stalk your target, set up the shot, and use your skill. Patient and cunning to achieve the mission. Authentic sniping, all DLC included, like in most of these remasters. You get multiplayer and co-op. There is online. You have Nintendo Switch exclusive controls, enhanced for the Pro Controller, and support of motion control. Controls, remastered visuals, photo mode, there is a lot in this package for a fairly decent price. I would be upset if it was just originally Sniper Elite V2, but it is a remaster of it and it is going to look improved. I played this game way back in the day and I had a decent time. Like this isn't Call of Duty or anything like that, but shooters on Switch are something that I always get behind because it's one of my favorite genres and uh, this is one that I can attest to. I've played it, like I said, back in the day, I might jump on a little bit more. The online isn't my favorite but it is a very unique shooter and we need more of these in the world pick up sniper elite v2 if it seems interesting to you you probably won't regret it next we have three games in one well not really but kind of resident evil Resident Evil 0 and Resident Evil 4, which we are seeing now, are all coming to Switch on May 19th for $29.99 each. Alternatively, you can wait and get the pack for Resident Evil and Resident Evil 0. 4 is going to be sold separately. They are a little bit more expensive than I would like, and you know what these games are. For me, Resident Evil 4 is an absolute classic game. It is a must own. I think that anybody that calls themselves a fan of gaming needs to play Resident Evil 4. If you've somehow never played it, get on it. It is absolutely amazing. The other two, I like a whole lot as well. They are great, great games. I don't necessarily think that they're as classic as Resident Evil 4. Uh, maybe the original Resident Evil 0, definitely not. But they are still really fun experiences and, you know, one that I can't wait to have on Switch. Resident Evil is already in the Switch with Revelations and Revelations 2. And yeah, these games are just so much better than that, in my opinion. They are traditional Resident Evil. So if you maybe weren't a fan of what happened to the franchise with 5 and 6, of course 7, brought it back somewhere where we all really really enjoyed it once again but yes these are a trip down memory lane they are a ton of fun and i can't wait to play these in handheld i don't know hiding under a cover or something in a dark room these are must have i'm picking up probably two of the three let me know which ones of these you are getting in the comments below May 21st is a pretty good day for third parties on Nintendo Switch and we are going to start off with Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered for Nintendo Switch for $39.99. This also comes with Assassin's Creed Liberation so that is a plus on picking this one up and if you've never played Assassin's Creed 3, I do recommend it. Ignite the revolution on the go as a master assassin born in the beauty and brutality of 18th century America. Assassin's Creed 3 is on Switch for the first time and and based on players' feedback, gameplay mechanics have been improved with several features being revamped. The year is 1775, the American colonies are about to revolt. You are Connor, an assassin who has sworn to secure liberty for his people and his nation. To do so, you will hunt down your enemies across a staggeringly large, open, realistic world. You will unleash your lethal skills in a violent quest that will take you from chaotic city streets to blood-soaked battlefields in the hostile American wilderness and beyond. You will meet legendary heroes of American history and together you will conspire to annihilate those who threaten liberty itself. You can play in TV mode and handheld tabletop. It has HD rumble, has touchscreen interface, motion control aiming, which is something that really surprised me. And again, you also get to play Assassin's Creed Liberation. Assassin's Creed 3 was the first time that I remember really having anything to do with naval combat and it is a good one. Everybody knows what Assassin's Creed is. It is one of the biggest franchises in gaming and it is finally coming to Nintendo Switch in the form of Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. Check it out. I know I'm going to be doing so. We need third party support on Switch and if this does well, maybe they'll bring more Assassin's Creed games to Switch. Maybe that Ezio collection that was rumored. We can cross our fingers for that one. If Assassin's Creed isn't your thing, then Team Sonic Racing comes out on the same day for the same price. $40, you can get it both physical and digital, 
And man, oh man, is this one that I am very apprehensive about. I really like Sonic Transform, the game that was on 360. Team Sonic Racing combines the best elements of arcade and fast-paced competitive style racing as you face off with friends in an intense multiplayer racing. Race together and work together as a team by sharing power-ups and speed boosts. Take control of your racing style, choose from three distinct character types and unlock game-changing vehicle customization options to suit your racing style, gear up, speed up, team racing at sonic speed it features online and local multiplayer team racing performance and skin customization with the 14 spectacular offensive and defensive items to help overcome rival teams and get ahead it has adventure mode and there is various character types 15 playable characters across the sonic universe and three distinct character types including speed technique and power i really want this game to be good i like kart racers i like arcadey games like this and you know mario kart is still the top of the list it's the best you know racing game of its kind on switch but i'm hoping that this is at least fun enough that i can have some fun with some friends local co-op i'm also gonna be playing online and i can't wait to see if i can finally defeat zach because zach always has my number in a mario kart maybe sonic racing is where i will be victorious i can't wait to find out the game is out the same day of assassin's creed later this month Man, I am nervous. I really hope it's good. The trailer for the Sonic movie wasn't very good in my opinion. Hopefully this is. But there you have it. Those are the big games for May 2019 that you should be on the lookout for. Again, there is some nice variety here from smaller stuff like Shakedown Hawaii and Duck Game to things that are a little bit bigger like the Assassin's Creed 3 Master and so much third party support this month. I am excited to get my hands on a lot of this and you know we are going to be checking them out for you guys here at Switch Force. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of it. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below which games, if any, you are picking up and that is pretty much it thank you guys for the support subscribe if you're not subscribed twitter link is in the description follow us on there for giveaways and other shenanigans and we will catch you on the next one switch force out